weeks with four hydroelectric dams, one fossil fuel plant, and two nuclear plants in the News Channel 9 viewing area. There is one company in Chattanooga capable of supplying the turbines those plants need to make electricity. 300 people work for the Alstom plant downtown. Now, the steel turbines they make are sent to power plants all over the world. It's an engineering process that's, that's unique only to Alstom for turbines that are made in Chattanooga. Alstom is glad to be in Chattanooga. It's an American company full of Americans with a supply chain from America made in America. And that's the clear vision that we had. And that's the vision that we've actually materialized today. Just like the wind drives these windmills to generate power, water, steam, gas, or atoms turn these turbines to make electricity. Alstom came to town in the footprints of one of Chattanooga's most prolific industries. Combustion engineering, a lot of the nuclear came out of this very facility. Uh, we didn't arrive in 2008, we just expanded in 2008. Steam turns this particular Alstom rotor, just like a windmill. This is 160 tons of pure quality, of such high tolerance that this will run at full speed in the st uh, without any vibration that's noticeable. The process to make a rotor begins with welding. Steel parts are brought to this area. They are stacked, they are welded, they then go through a stress relief, a, a, a heat treatment to make sure that all of the stresses are taken out of that. The blading process attaches steel blades, also made here. Heavy steel tends to sag in the middle. Turning the rotor continuously eliminates that sag. Then it's checked in the overspeed pit, which simulates a power plant. That's done at speeds up to 3,600 RPM. And there is no risk of any failure of a blade at sight. It's a, it's a catastrophe if there is a blade failure. The rotor then comes back for a second stress test. And now we've got to make sure that these fine tolerances that we've set during assembly are still exactly the same as designed. A dedicated legion of Alstom workers trained both here and overseas complete all the work. Once we've trained the people, we can't then set them loose machining uh, multi-million dollar pieces of equipment which have long lead times ready uh, to go exactly into site during a site erection, which is scheduled years ahead. Mr. Quinn looks forward to growing the plant as demand increases for more energy sources. It's going to have new generations of Alstom personnel where their fathers have worked before them, and hopefully where their fathers' fathers have worked before them. And I'll still be young at that time as well, yeah? <laughs> Now this right here was the first shipment of a GT24 gas turbine made at the plant back in May. Most of the turbines will be transported by boat. This turbine is on its way to a power plant in Mexico. Next week, if it's a safe and restful sleep you're looking for, one company in Cleveland has been supplying custom-made mattresses and box springs for years. We'll watch the intricate process on how the Mermaid Mattress Factory makes pads for the reclining body. That's coming up next week at 6. Hopefully it won't put you to sleep. Oh, no, yeah. never, but never. But you'll want to <laughs> once you see it. <laughs> right. Calvin, thank you again. Those things are great. Good job. <laughs>